and I think I've discovered that this is a better angle. So note to self, hold camera in the left hand if possible. Morning everybody, we're dropping off the troops to kinder and I uh, didn't get a great sleep last night but that's nothing new and once we come back we'll resume our day. I wanted to show you some new in bits that are arriving and oh I just realized my hair matches my fur. <laughs> if anyone's curious about this coat I'll have a chat about this later but it is from Canada so this is the real deal. Anyway, better go. Sorry to interrupt but here is future me coming to you live from to me. <laughs> I wanted to let you know that the next roll of try on clips is from a few months post baby. So that's probably where my body might look different than my previous video. I just thought it was important to include, you know, uh, different body shapes and different times in our lives and how we feel and look in clothes during those times. And I hope you enjoy the experience. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm saying because I've only got a few hours sleep. Let's just roll the clips. I actually forgot how much I ordered. Um, I'm special there some of it. So I've got a singlet from New, a nice thick one. Dress from Cotton On Summer. Oh, this dress I forgot. It's my leopard shirt dress white skirt and brown knit short sleeve with the collar let's see how this all looks together and if my vision comes to life now this is look number one i had this in mind the rib is super good quality it is rather short i did know that the skirt it's comfortable. I mean, I have changed sizes. I'm still recovering from baby, but I think it's appropriate, flattering. Let's try it with another skirt. This singlet is great because it's really thick. It actually goes super well. I feel like with this skirt, it's cropped, but like it's got ribbing, so it's like flattering. I really like this. Makes you feel really comfortable. Yeah. Lovely. The colour turned up. I like this top a lot better now. 
I'm not wearing a bra right now, so I'm thinking with a bra, is it going to become even shorter? If anything, it actually fits even better. So, yeah, very happy this top. I would probably wear it with anything too tight, but with an outfit like this, I should get some more of these stretchy kind of skirts if they um, come back. Kukai, I think, sells these. Um, this isn't a Kukai one, this is just a cheap, cheapo. I'm very happy with this. This look number is very cute. Um, very short, I'd probably only wear it around the house. But I think it does show a little bit of, you know, belle. And it just is a really nice, cute little summer thing. Very cute for around the house only. I'm not sure why I'd step out in public. It's a bit too short and sweet, if you know it. I'm actually really happy. I was going to order this in a small, but this is the extra small, and I'm so happy I did that decision because the extra small happens to be an eight, because sometimes an extra small is a six. So, right choice, and I'm really liking it. Very comfortable, cute, I feel confident, and you can do an off shoulder thing if you wanted to. Like, you still look very broad on top when I do that, so what a successful little haul! I am so happy, really, I feel very comfortable. I'm very happy with this. I will check in with you guys soon, maybe with some outfits put together. All right, guys, and this is the outfit of the day. I've completely glammed myself up. I fake tanned last night. I have pedicured my own feet and I've had moisturizer marinating in my socks, which sounds completely disgusting, but very essential. And I'm wearing this Forever New Cami, which comes in a set with this lovely cardigan over the top, but I'm a bit hot right now and I've got to do a bunch of dishes and banana bread and lunch and the rest and this is also forever new shorts very comfortable loungewear today and i'm wearing this necklace from kikai from probably spring last year and this lovely simple chain from ace jewelry and i think i've discovered that this is a better angle so note to self hold camera in the left hand if possible and that is me struggling to keep this guy on track. I decided to do my makeup before we went out today. I didn't use any foundation. I just used my Complexion Rescue by Bare Minerals, which I can't rate highly enough. And some concealer by Giorgio Armani. And skin's looking very fresh, glowy, and very minimalistic. Like I can barely notice that I've got any rouge or um, bronzer on. I'm not sure if I should put more. Should I put more? Does it look too flat what are you guys thinking i do like the like the very natural look of it all though i have to say and i'm uh, very pleased with the concealer i don't think i'd even go to another concealer i've tried so many it was such a battle to find the perfect shade the right coverage because my dark circles are my huge huge issue and i also did something new yesterday i cut my eyebrows for the first time so i literally fan them up and i cut them with some kitchen scissors because well, I don't have any other scissors but oh, I think they're looking all right not too bad I mean one day I should probably get them professionally done uh, I only had them done once and that was when I was 16 and let's just say that they, they did such a botched job of it that I decided never to go back <coughs> and have that done again but yeah let me know what you guys think about the daytime makeup is it too minimal can we see anything what do you reckon let me know and future me is back i know you're probably sick of me already just thought i would conclude this uh, video properly uh, and sign off i will be getting better at doing this formality i hope you enjoyed this very different try on haul and i ex please excuse the footage uh shot on my iphone because it was very amateur at that point i wasn't you know i was just playing around with things at that time but again I thought it was important to show the starts of this blog in its humble state and I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe for more I again I aim to be posting vlogs weekly and also baking vlogs often as well and take care my lovelies I do hope you are all doing well and thank you for watching bye
I just signed off by putting my hand over the camera which was pointing at the mirror, didn't I? That's professional vlogging, guys. Kick it, rendezvous, make some time for me.